right, so I've been working on this machine uh, for a couple days now. Um, I, I had told him, uh, you know, it's good to keep this uh, this laptop here handy. Like, uh, keep it around in case his other uh, laptop goes. So what ended up happening was he bought a new laptop to replace this one because it dropped on the ground. Now, the hard drive, I think, got busted in it. Couldn't boot up to Windows 8, and, well, Windows 8 is no longer, you know... It's not very, uh, it's not supported. Uh, so, I had told him I will install Linux on it, and I installed Linux Mint, and uh, we had one issue. Uh, the speakers don't work on the laptop. Now, funny thing about this laptop is, if we turn it over, we see that there's no panels for, you know, the hard drive, memory, and all this stuff. No, this whole back panel comes off. Right here, you can see there's, you know, a grill there and there and there. That's that's where your RAM is. And, uh, well, uh, I guess this would be the uh, cooling for the CPU. Anyways, yeah, so these two grills here are speakers. And uh, lo and behold, it is actually plugged into the... Uh, to the uh, motherboard so as soon as you're pulling this panel off it is plugged into the board now uh, you know sometimes you'll come across issues as a tech and this happens to anyone you know sometimes something goes and blah 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 now what happened here is when I installed Linux I went to go test YouTube and I wasn't getting any sound. So I had told him that, you know, uh, we can go back to installing uh, Windows 11 on here. Um, well, not back to, just doing uh, Windows in 11 install because of previous Windows 8. Anyways, uh, after having Windows 11 installed on here, I was still not getting sound. So I figured, okay, I'll go back into the panel and see if there uh, is something wrong with the plug. Now, I went down the line, uh, you know, because there's a line that's going across the, the bottom, and one uh, speaker has the plug out to the board. And I didn't see an issue there at all. So, I don't know. It could have been the drop, it could have been me unplugging it, but uh, I don't see how that would happen. Um, so I had told him that, um, yes, uh, the Windows 11 works, um, of course, there is a, a nice little input here for headphones, but you can also put speakers in there and you can listen to it that way. Um, and, and that's okay. It gets by. I mean, it's better than the speakers that are actually in this unit. Now, of course, I can replace the speakers inside this thing uh, with some parts off of Valley Express. However, um, when doing so, I'm not sure if the, uh, if the speakers will work because I'm not sure if it's an onboard issue, um, but I'm going to say that it probably will work, and I'm not wondered, still 100% sure what had caused the speakers to go. Now, if the hard drive went, there's a small, tiny possibility the speakers went to, but I don't know, again, if that's onboard issue, or even the cable, uh, you know, as of pulling it out, uh, it got broke. But the customer is aware that there's no sound, and he's fine with it as long as there's the input on the side there. And uh, he was just telling me, he's like, is there really any use for this machine? I said, well, just keep it secondhand, keep it right there with you. So, you know, if, if the other laptop breaks down, your phone goes or whatever, you have this handy. So, he's pretty happy, I'm happy. And if there's any issue, you know, I'll, I'll go out of my way to try and, uh, you know, repair it. And I had told him I can buy replacement speakers for this exact laptop. And he had said, eh, never mind. Like, I, I had to put so much work into this machine alone. And it's not even, like, the greatest machine. It's just, it's going to be there if he needs it. And it, it, it'll do what he needs, just to use the web browser for minor things, uh, video or whatever you know but that's it um this machine is done i'm happy with the work that has been done windows 11 works on it it auto boots to the desktop i you know had to deactivate password login and no microsoft online account etc um 
Yeah, and even bypassed all the stupid questions that Microsoft asks as you install this operating system. Yeah, none of that jazz. Disabled AI um, from the desktop, as it is a beta feature. And uh, yeah, now he can just use it as a normal machine. All drivers installed as well, which means all the hardware on here should work as it should. So, yes. Happy customer, he'll be here in a little bit, so I will be giving this off to him.